She's the graduate of an exclusive college, and her big dream was to go into medical research. That doesn't sound anything like Phoebe Buffay, but that is Lisa Kudrow. There are lots of surprises in her past, but the biggest surprise for Lisa is the life she lives today. I was not a class clown type. I would do it when it was appropriate, you know. <laughs> I would take a play production class where we could write sketches. And at slumber parties, I was a riot. And uh, <laughs> those were my gigs. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Everybody, smelly She's cat. the somewhat musical, somewhat spaced out member of the gang. Oh, I knew something had to be wrong because my fingernails did not grow at all yesterday. <laughs> And for Lisa Kudrow, playing Phoebe Buffay has been quite a ride. Can you describe at all what it was like to take that ride, that initial kind of launch? To me, it felt a lot like um, being on a roller coaster and you're making that climb. I've spent a lot of time bracing myself for the drop. And um, there hasn't really been a drop for the show or for me personally. <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Still, it's been an unusual trip to the top for Lisa. Okay, now I'm going to kick some ass! For a long time, being an actress was the last thing on her mind. Her dad was a neurologist in L.A., and Lisa wanted to follow in his footsteps. So, what was your view on acting as you were a young girl? Oh, I didn't think much of it. I thought, you know, actors are riffraff. Didn't you say you thought they were dumb? <laughs> yeah. I thought they were dumb. I'd see them on talk shows. I'd, you know, read the stories about, you know, marriages breaking up and all kinds of problems all the time and just thought, wow, I don't want to be part of that group. Lisa went to Vassar and majored in biology, but she acted in school plays and started to get the bug. I would just get these feelings of, yeah, I could do that. I could do that acting. I could do it. I could do that comedic acting. You'd be good. I'd stop. These are just like this little argument in my head. All right, but stop. Go back to school and be a person that you could, you know, have some respect for. After she graduated from Vassar in 1985, a friend of her brother's, comedian John Lovitz, pushed Lisa to join the famous L.A. comic troupe, The Groundlings. They accepted her after two auditions, and Lisa Kudrow's acting career was officially underway. How you doing? Her big TV break came four years later, the role of uh, Ursula the Waitress on Mad About You. Is there any way that I could get half a dinner salad? What do you mean, like half? <laughs> that led to what was supposed to be her biggest break, a job with a new sitcom called Frasier. You actually were offered the role of Roz on Frasier. Right. Got the part. Yeah. And then they changed their minds. Yeah. Yeah, I was fired before, <laughs> before we shot the pilot. They said it, was, it wasn't you. They said you were great. But, but they, they always say that, though. But we're going in a different direction with the character. Right, yeah, that's what I was told. Yeah, it's all right. Um, <laughs> but I, I was really disappointed. And it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Because just a year later, she read for a role in another new show, then titled Friends Like Us. This time, she got the part for real. No, oh, no, no, don't. Stop cleansing my aura. <laughs> no, just leave my aura alone, okay? Fine, be murky. <laughs> but Lisa was still playing Ursula on Mad About You. So, in a TV first, the writers made the characters twin sisters. You're a twin? Oh, yeah, we don't speak. She's like this high-powered, driven career type. What does she do? She's a waitress. <laughs> Along with success in Friends, Lisa's also done a string of well-received movies, including the comedy hits Analyze This. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. You know what? This is like the cutest we've ever looked. And Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Not bad for someone who wanted to be a scientist. Maybe thanks to that non-showbiz background, 40-year-old Lisa seems to have a good handle on dealing with fame and Hollywood. Her private life with her husband, ad executive Michael Stern, and their son Julian stays private. She says they will be her main focus now. What are your hopes for the first year after Friends? My hopes are to be doing, um, you know, that great independent film here or there so that I also have time to... You know, be, be an involved parent with my son's school. 
that's what I. So, I so now it's been actress and mom, and you want it to be mom and actress? Uh huh. Are you in there, little fetus? In nine months, will you come greet us? Lisa also has her own TV production company called Is or Isn't Entertainment. But friends she knows will always be a big part of her life, no matter what she does from here on out. Hey, Thieves, you want to help? Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> Do you see a time where people will hear your name and they'll say, oh, she's the one who was fabulous in X movie or Y movie, and not immediately say, Phoebe from Friends? No, I think it's pretty much going to be Friends. That That's okay with you? my career. Yeah. Why not? Nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, it's, you know, it's a great thing. I'm in the shower and I'm writing a song. The moments Lisa says she'll always remember from her friend's career are those wonderful songs she got to sing. Lather and repeat and lather and repeat and lather and repeat. As needed. Is, is there a particular Phoebe song that after 10 years still sticks in your mind? Yeah, there's a few of them. Tell me one. Give one me of one. Them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the cow in the meadow goes moo. Oh, the cow in the meadow goes moo. Oh, no, that's not it. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. How's it go from there? <laughs> oh, the cow in the meadow goes moo. Oh, the cow in the meadow goes moo. Then, then the, the far farmer knocks him on the head and chops him up. And that's how we get hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. So you, you hum that to your son? Is that, is that I the one? I did sing it to him once, and he was, all right. He had nightmares for three yeah. weeks. <laughs> Coming up, Katie goes behind the scenes. And later, the stars recall their favorite moments. The one with all the poker. Oh, my <laughs> the black When our farewell to friends continues.